How's you going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. It's a sunny, chilly November morning here at the camp. And uh, one last task to get ready for winter. I hope it's the last task anyway. And that's uh, we have to put some chains on my tractor. So I've got rear wheel chains and front wheel chains. So I'm going to drag those out, bring the tractor around, open the garage door here, and we'll get geared up and put the chains on the tractor. So come on along if you want to have a watch. So here's one of the front wheel chains. On the front wheels of my tractor, I got ice chains so that they can dig into the ice better. Uh, now these chains are, this is going to be the third winter, and the ice picks are pretty well wore right off them. So now they just turn out to be ordinary bar chains. But uh, I have, this is a piece that I cut off the chain to make them fit my tractor but you can see on these cross links these barbs were put on here to dig into the ice so that's what makes the mice chains uh, for cross link anyway cross link ice chains I'm not sure about all tractors but on my tractor I don't have a lot of inside clearance on the front or the back wheels for bulkiness when you join the chains together uh, because there's material there's pieces of equipment in there that the chains could chains could hook on so I like to put this squeezable link on the inside and this uh, disconnecting flexible link here on the outside uh, that's just my preference uh, it makes it easier to, to put them together that way also when I put these chains on and link them I like to wire them closed so I just use baling wire, so that's what I'll do once I hook them on. I'll just put a couple of wraps of the wire around where the link hooks, uh, twist it together and cut it off, fold it all in nice and tight so there's no loose end sticking out. Also, uh, I'm a firm believer that your chains shouldn't be singing tight across your tires. They should be a little bit loose so that they can kind of flop around and move and, and, and move in and out of the bar grooves that's on your tires so that they can get better contact with the ground and the ice and the snow when you're driving over. So I don't put the chains on singing tight, uh, but, but tight enough so that they don't flop around too much. But in order to keep them from, from say moving from side to side on the tire, I'll put a bungee cord across the hub uh, just to keep them located good. I use bungee cords. There's lots of other things for that, but that's what I use because bungee cords are cheap. Okay, so having said all that, I got the tractor out in the shed there or out in the door. Uh, I got the, the front wheels lifted up. I just lift them up with the bucket. So I'm going to take this chain out, set it on the wheel, and we'll start to wire up. We want our uh, picks to be on the outside edge of the tire. We want our quick connect or flexible link to be on the outside edge of the tire. So we have to turn our chain around 180 degrees. Set that on the wheel. So there's our ice picks facing up. And our flexible link at the bottom. Hope you can see that. And the squeezable link at the back. So I'm going to uh, go get my knee pad. Just one sec. Okay. So now I'm going to do the inside one first. Just because I seem to have better luck that way. And I'll just hook that for now. I'll catch it in a sec, but I'll bring this one up. And I think I can get into this link with this one. I'm not sure how good you can see all this, but trust me. It's going together not bad. So now I can make an adjustment in here. I think I can. See if we can get in one more link here. <laughs> Hands don't work as good as they used to, boys, I'll tell you. There. Okay. I'm going to try and move this one one more link in as well. Something like that. Bring that around like that. Ouch. There. 
So that's pretty good. So I've got two links extra on each side. So what I want to do is make sure that they don't bang around too much. So that's what I'm going to do with my wire. Okay, so that's it. Chain is on, bungee, she's all wired up, should be good. Do that the same on the other side, and then when I do the back, I have to jack it up. So we'll come back and look at the back side when I'm getting ready for that one. So I have the uh, back of the tractor jacked up, so now I can get at the back wheels. The chain to the back wheels, uh, same sort of deal as the front. So there's no ice picks on them, so as long as I get the uh, disconnecting link on the outside of the tire, then that's, there's no front, no uh, left or right to those ones. Uh, I say there's no uh, left or right, but there is a top and a bottom to them. Uh, if you look at the, uh, this is the chain. These are the cross links. The cross links, uh, the connecting links and the cross links turn up. Now, uh, opinions differ on this probably. I like to put these facing upwards, facing out, so that the uh, they'll have a chance maybe to catch in the snow and the ice as well. Plus it's not digging into the uh, to the K or the crown of the uh, of the tire here. So I'm just going to place those out. This that's my liking. I don't know if there's any kind of rule or stipulation about that. But that's what I like to do. Try to uh, put them on as straight as you can. It makes life easier when it goes time to poke them up. Sometimes it's quite a wrestling match. Sometimes they're going pretty easy. What the guy says, some days are diamonds, some days are dust, right? Trying to hide what I'm doing down there so that no one will know my secret. There's not much room for messing around in here. So anyway, uh, I guess there's only one way to do that, and that's to get right down here and get in. Okay, I have her hooked on the inside. Now it's just a matter of. Uh, Getting these cross links kind of half squared away, and then I can tighten that up a little bit. There. So I got that uh, inside link pretty tight. I got it in this one. So let's see if we can do this. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, now all I have to do is wire that up like I did on the front ones. And you saw me fighting with that, so there's no sense watching me twice. Uh, one other thing, 
I have uh, different bungees for the back. Okay. So I just use those. I use. I put cross. I cross them on here, and on the inside, I'll just put uh, just from one side to the other to go around the axle. Yeah, that's kind of hard to explain, but anyway, when I wire that up and put those straps, on, put those straps on, then I'll show you. So there's the chain with the two bungees on that side crossed, and if you can see in here, kind of hard to see it in there. I've got two bungees just going side by side around the axle. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So there we have it. Chains on, front and back. Left and right. Okay, done. So we got the chains on the tractor. Uh, kind of a fussy job, but the fussy part of it is uh, mainly, for me at least, is, is wiring up the loose links so that they don't flop around and catch on something. Because uh, you don't want to catch on anything in your tractor, especially when you're plowing, because you might, you know, rip something. And be stuck out in the road somewhere. So anyways, uh, hope you liked that little video about putting the chains on. Pretty simple really. Uh, and now I'm ready. It doesn't take long to put the blade on or the, or the snow blower. I can do that even in the snow. That's no biggie. So I'm ready for old man winter. Come on buddy. Come on along. Soon have the fire going and uh, there's always a beer in the fridge. <laughs> anyway. So thanks for watching again. Uh, hope you like it. I hope you like my little videos. Uh, click like if you do. I like seeing the thumbs up. Uh, and uh, comments are always welcome. I read every comment. And I want to thank everybody who watches my videos. Because I certainly didn't expect to get as many views as I'm getting. <laughs> for an old fellow in the middle of the woods in Nova Scotia. Pretty neat. So thanks for doing that. And uh, don't forget, Remembrance Day is coming up soon. Thank you to all the veterans, men, women, animals, children, anybody who served in any way, shape, or form to try to make our country as good as it is today. I, I salute you all, and I'm forever in your debt, and I'm so very, very proud of you. Uh, however, the outfit we got running the country now, man, it's just pitiful. Just pitiful. Talk to you.